Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy me and today I'm going to show you how to unlock achievements in SPSX 2.0 on Xbox. Alright, bet. So first thing you want to do is head over to the RetroAchievements.org website and then just register, create a username and a password. It's going to ask you to verify your email. Alright, cool. And then before we head back to the Xbox, if you're on the website and you head over to the games, and head over to the PlayStation 2 category. And then you can see the list of games that actually support achievement. All right, now we're gonna head right back to the Xbox. All right, bet, now that we're on the Xbox, what you wanna do is open up SPSX2, head down to the settings. All right, now what we're gonna do is hit the left bumper three times to get to the achievement settings. One, two, three. And then now what we're gonna do is we're gonna enable achievements, head down all the way to the bottom, and then you're gonna log into the account that you just created on Retro Achievements website. You should get a little pop-up saying login into Retro Achievements. Just give this a second. I bet and once you do that, you should see your username and you should get a login token generated. All right, cool. Now we're going to head up to the top for the additional settings. But the first option, we got Rich Presence. And for this, I highly recommend keeping this on. For this, this would tell you additional information on the Retro Achievement website. It'll, it'll show your last games played. If you have friends on the Retro Achievement website, they could also track your current progress and what you have been doing as well. Now for the second option, we got Hardcore Mode, which is pretty cool. And I highly recommend trying this out. This is a challenge mode for achievement. This also enables the leaderboards tracking. It disables all save states, the cheats, and the slowdown functions. So if you're really looking to spice up some of your games, I highly recommend playing this. And it's definitely fun going for the leaderboards. Show notifications. You can also disable this if you do not want your achievements popping up all over your screen. For me personally, I'm just going to keep this on. There's also a sound effect that plays when you get your achievement. So if you don't like sound effects interrupting your game, you could definitely turn this off. Show challenge indicators. So for this, it'll kind of pop up your achievements if you're close to finishing something specifically in your game and then if for some reason you mess up in your game and you're not close to it anymore it, it kind of just disappears but for me i'm just going to keep this on as well and then there's also test unofficial achievements and a test mode but uh i don't really use these so all right bet now that we have finished all of this i'm just going to boot into a game and i'm going to show you how you can look at your achievements while you're playing your game all right cool now that we booted up into budica you can see that it says i have earned zero out of 61 achievements it'll tell you the points and your progress now if you were to press the quick menu select and start at the same time you can head down to the achievements and then here you can see all the achievements that you can unlock for dragon ball z budokai and for whatever game that you're playing currently and that's about it i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did please hit that like and follow for more let me know in the comments if you need any help and let me know what game you're gonna go for achievements on first hope you guys have a great day catch you later